Hi everybody, it's Peggy. I just thought I'd uh, show you how I do my watercolor pencils. Um, it's really coloring for idiots <laughs> to, to do this. You really just have to scribble some colors on, try and keep them in within the lines of course. And uh, yeah, just uh, the hard part is figuring out what's <laughs> what's what in some of these drawings. What's hands or is it a flower or what is it? <laughs> but yeah. So like I say, you just scribble your color in. Generally, you put your lightest color down first, and then you'll take another color for your shading. I'm just going around the, the edge of her face and under her hat here. To that'll be some shadow. And this is how quickly that you can do this too. You really don't have to be that talented to, to use the watercolor pencils. It's not like the the Copics that does take some some practice. This is a good starting step for you too in learning how to uh, do the Copic coloring. And I've only watched a few videos, so I really don't have a clue what I'm doing, but I'm just sort of copying what I've seen here. So you're just adding some shading here now. And then uh, got a sort of a teal color here that I'm going to do her dress. Um, now generally, from what I can see when you're doing like Copic coloring, you get three colors along the same family sort of thing. So in this case, if you're doing the Copic coloring, you'd have a a lighter one, this color, and then a darker one. I did read somewhere that you go every other number. But um, what you can do is just put a light coat down overall, and then along the outside you'll put quite a go over it again, get it quite dark, and any of the lines in your on your uh, image here, just sort of darken those up. And you can see I'm not being real careful here, I'm just scribbling some color down. So you want that fairly dark on there. And then you can come in again and just go over it lightly just to darken it up and just sort of go from dark into the lightest here. And you can always come back in later and add some more color if you want. And um, for her hair, a couple three colors. Again, just go over everything with the light color first. Once you get that done, just come back in with a, a darker color and uh, go along wherever you figure that it should be darker. Usually you leave the center lightest. That'll be where there'll be a highlight. 
and then you get a, a shadow around faces and under the hat and what have you and then you can add some go over some of the lines that are drawn lines that are in there and get them a little darker under the hat there And then uh, it, to join the light and the dark, you can just go in with a light touch with the dark crayon or pencil. So you can see that we've got our somewhat colored up. I won't do the whole thing right now. I like using these brushes that have the water in them but you can use whatever kind of brush that you want and I do have some water here that I can wash my brush off in between or if I need more water. So what I do is go into the lightest part first so go in here. Now this is uh, an image that I downloaded off the computer printed it on my printer. So the black ink does tend to run a bit so if you can just sorta not run into it too much. And then you get into the darker areas along the side and you just sorta push that into the center and that sort of blends the darker into the lighter colors so you don't have that line around the outside and then wash your brush off and then come on down to this blue and like I say just go in and do the light colors first just give it a quick wash and then you start drawing in the darker sides, push, pushing it into the, the center here. And then just sort of move it around. And then I forgot to do her legs when I was doing the flash hair, but we'll go back and do that. In the hand and then just pull the dark into the light and it just takes a light touch really to get it blended and then for the hair again the light first and this is fairly wet that I'm leaving this If it's too wet, you can just have your piece of paper towel on the side here and you can dab it, <coughs> excuse me, dab it off here. And then again, just pull uh, the dark back and forth into the, the lighter areas. And uh, if you think it needs more highlights you can uh, either get a darker brown or just go in with your dark brown that you here used here and this is the nice thing about using the watercolors you just take your your brush and just rub it against the the lead and uh, you can see that I've picked up a lot of color here so and then you can just go in and just add some more dark areas if you want. Just to get some more depth and highlights showing up. 
and then dry your brush off a bit and just come in and move it around a bit more to get it blended. But you can see just how quickly that we've done that. So I just thought I'd show you that and you know if you're interested in trying the watercolor pencils I really like them. Um, I like it better than the colored pencils where you have to use a Gamsol to move it. I can't stand <laughs> the feel of the I don't know they've got that handy. Yeah, these things. I forget what they're called. But you dip that into the Gamsol and then use it the same way that you would a paintbrush and pull your your dark color into your light and your light into your dark and to blend it. I just this the feel of that just gives me the willy, so <laughs> I prefer doing this. So I just want, thought I'd share you that with you real quick just to show you how fast and easy it is to actually do the, the coloring with the, the watercolor pencils. Now these are the Prima um, watercolor pencils that I got here. Um, in my last video I mentioned that I really like the pencils. Um, they're nice colors and everything. Uh, what I really irks me to no end is you got too many of the exact same color. It's not even that they're in a, a range. They're the exact same pencil, like number 89, or uh, I think there's three blacks in here. I could have used more blues and greens, and even pinks and purples. I was not happy about that. Um, this is the... Faber Castell, and you can see the quite a, a nice range of colors with it. Um, one thing that you can see, though, the difference why you pay the difference in price in uh, is the how thick the lead is. That's a very thin lead in the Faber Castell, where that's a much thicker lead in the Prima so you're getting a lot more pencil with the Prima so that's why it's costing more and I find with the Faber-Castell um, like when you're getting the the uh, paint on your brush when I was doing this you have to work quite a bit longer to get your your brush, brush filled with paint Usually you just have to hit the the Primas a couple, three times and you've got it quite saturated. But this, you have to go back quite often to load it up. So that's just my observations and how I do it. Um, not sure whether it's right or wrong, but it gets the job done. So if you're afraid of coloring or you don't want to invest in the spectrums or the uh, Copics you know this is a good cheaper alternative I think the uh, favor costels uh, I think they were that's 48 colors I think that was around gosh I can't remember whether it's 29 or 39 dollars and for the Primas for 60 of them I think um, they're 13 14 dollars for 12 pencils in each package tin that you get they come in tins like this but uh, you yeah. know I would get uh, maybe a, a cheaper set of 12 just to give it a try if you want but and then see. But anyway, there you go. That's what I've done. Just thought I'd share. Okay, take care. Talk to you later. Bye.